And now I'll kick out the jams. They're in the gate and they're off in the 4th of July opener. On the far outside, Bavite comes out running with Rocco Bowen. Further out, kick out the jams is sitting in second. And back towards the inside, up in arm sits third. And at the back early is Dominant Stranger. It's Bavite out there with a the lead, a length and a half better than kick out the jams. Another two lengths back on the inside to up in arms. And still at the back is Dominant Stranger. Opening quarter went 22 and 4 fifth seconds. Bavite the one to catch, still on. On the lead, kick out the jam, still second, up in arm, still third, and at the back is still Dominant Stranger. They head around that turn, and they're chasing Vavite. He's got the lead by a length. Here comes kick out the jams, now ask for a bit more. Back towards the inside, up in arms, now moving after the top pair, and at the back, Dominant Stranger still with a chance. He's going to swing to the far outside, and Ricky Knott will try to run them all down. It's still Vavite with a short lead up the rail. Up in arms is coming outside. Kick out the jams is there. There. Three of them across the track. Vavite digging in, up in arms, sneaking up the inside to come after the lead. It's these two little wire up in arms. We'll get the job done at eight to five. Vavite was second best photo finish for the show dough. Either kick out the jams or dominant stranger. Winning time, 111 flat. And away they go. From the inside, Emerald Citadel jumps right out for the early lead. It's Don't Make Me Beg now moving up to be second. Length and a half back along the inside to the two Nancys third. Then racing fourth is Amazon Lizzie joined outside by Ultimate Baroness. And yes, it's eerie. The closer is at the back of the pack. Emerald Citadel shows the way under Chris Fox. Just three parts of a length ahead of Don't Make Me Beg. Behind them, the two Nancy stonks from the third position. Then there's three more back to Amazon Lizzie. Followed outside by Ultimate Baroness with yes, it's eerie now at the back. It's still Emerald Citadel with a lead, but don't make me beg. Antonio Giardo inching closer up on the outside. Then there's three and a half, four back to the two Nancys racing in third. Up alongside fourth, Amazon Lizzie and Pablo Morales now gaining momentum. But right now it's don't make me beg and Emerald Citadel fighting for that lead. Down the center, Amazon Lizzie coming to get him. It's these three to the wire. Don't make me beg. Antonio Guerrero has the lead. Emerald Citadel drops back in second. Outside, here comes, yes, it's Erie closing along with Amazon Lily. But it's going to be Don't Make Me Beg. Getting to the wire first. Yes, it's Erie second best over Amazon Lizzie. Rating fourth was Emerald Citadel. Winning time, 111 and 2. They're off and racing in the third. Breaking out for the early lead on the outside is Jareth. Fox Rocks now moves through on the inside to challenge. And back in third comes Sime, followed by Crosstown Shootout driving through and taking third along the rail. Behind them fifth is Blitchton and another two lengths back to the trailer. And that is Captain Mad Jack. Pace setter is Fox Rocks. Pablo Morales out there with a length and a half advantage over Jareth. In third and on the move is Crosstown Shootout. Then we drop back into the two and a half lengths to Sime Blitchton. And then at the back of the pack is Captain Mad Jack. The opening quarter, 23 and one fifth second, and Fox Rock continues to show the way. Inching closer up the inside is the favorite. Crosstown shootout on the outside. In third is uh, second is Jareth now. And behind them coming four wide, Sam May set down for a late bid. Fox Rocks comes off the turn with a short lead. Angling between horses. Crosstown shootout is now coming. On the far outside, that is Sam May trying to close the gap. It's one of these three. Crosstown shootout and Fox Rocks a ding-dong battle to the finish. And Crosstown shootout inches away and wins as the even money favorite. It's as easy he is one, two, three in the third. Winning time, one ten and one. And they're off in the fourth. There goes Happy Bee breaking alertly alongside Treasure the Storm is there. Moving behind them, not ordinary. Then to the outside, Song of Indy and Audrina City can see them all. As they make their way to that first turn, it is Happy Bee, the favorite out there on a lead of about three parts of a length. Treasure the Storm stalks that pace from second. We drop back another two lengths on the inside, not ordinary, joined outside by Song of Indy and Audrina City still at the back of the pack. Quarter mile, 25 flat, and down the backside 
inside they go. Happy B just buzzing along with a three-length advantage. In second, that is Treasure the Storm. Now on the outside, Song of Indy moves up to take third. Back along the inside, not Orberney races in fourth. And then four more back to Audrina City, who can still see them all. It's Happy B with that lead, but the lead is down to a length and a half as Song of Indy looks to challenge that top spot. Then comes Treasure the Storm dropping back third, about to be joined outside by not Orbinary, then Audrina City still at the back of the pack, some six or seven from the leader, and that is Happy B. Aaron Walker trying to settle this one down on the lead and hold off the other speed. Song of Indy right there. Those two clear now by three lengths. Down on the inside, Treasure the Storm, not Orbinary now, moving up between horses and Audrina City. Down on the rail, we'll look for a late bid. It's Happy B still with the lead. Outside, Song of Indy trying to get to him. Down on the inside, Church of the Storm, and then comes a late bed from Audrina City. But right now, Happy B, just happy as can be, buzzing along and going to score an easy victory here. Audrina City was up for second with not ordinary third. Rounding off the super with Song of Indy. Winning time was 139-1. And they're off in the fifth. Break your lead outside is Cotswold Village along with Stevis Man vying for the advantage. Up into third, that is Fuel the Burn. Then to the outside, Guaco, and enjoy the music at the back. Some five and a half lengths from the leader, and that is Stevis Man. Walber Allen Carr out there at three to one, trying to take this field all the way. A Cotswold Village sits in second. Then third towards the inside is Fuel the Burn. Guaco moves fourth on the outside, and at the back is Enjoy the Music. Right now, Stevis Man, the 12 year old, trying to get the the victory here on the 4th of July in second at Cotswold Village. Guaco is on the move outside. In between horses, Fuel the Burn is in third and at the back still enjoy the music. Stevis Man holds that advantage at Cotswold Village. He's got his sights on the leader and right behind him, Guaco is moving up into third. Behind them is going to be enjoy the music. He'll need some racing room, but he's coming strong. Right now, Stevis Man has the advantage. Cotswold Village there on the outside, weaving his way from the inside. Here comes enjoy the music full of run Avery Wisman up to take a short lead Stevis man trying to battle back Cotswold Village on the outside enjoy the music Yankee Doodle Dandy plays on the 4th of July back in second at Cotswold Village photo finish for the show though either Guaco or Stevis man winning time 116 and 1 Maramite steps up and they're up in the sixth, right to the lead, Proposition comes out running for the advantage. Joined between horses by Market Success. They're on the outside. Racing in third is going to be Frills now moving up, taking second. Two more back to Baby Draken, and at the back is my mate, Marmite. They're all chasing Proposition. Pablo Morales has the advantage out there by two lengths. In second, Frills stocks that pace. In third is going to be Market Success. Then matching strides, my mate, Marmite, out outside of Baby Dragon. Quarter mile, 23 flat, and it's still proposition. Pablo Morales with the advantage. Frill stalks that pace in second, trying to run him down. Then comes Mar Market Success, and my mate Marmite trying to pick up from the back of the pack. But proposition comes off the turn with a two-length advantage. Frills Isaiah Wiseman trying to run him down there on the outside, back towards the inside, market success. Then comes my mate Marmite, but right now it is Proposition with the lead. Frills all out trying to get to him down the center, but Proposition and Pablo Morales have something left and go on to the winner's circle. Frills clear cut second, market success was third. Back and forth, my mate Marmite. They're off in the seventh. Breaking for the lead outside. There goes ribbons and medals showing speed. Rushing up the rail is declared. Up between horses, that is digital footprint. There on the far outside, ribbons and medals and extra sexy big daddy. Can't bet them all, can see them all. They head into that turn. Ribbons and medals on the inside. Alongside challenging for the second spot is going to be Jojo Hans. Outside racing in third comes extra sexy big daddy. Another two lengths back on the inside to declare. Then digital footprint. Another four and a half 
five to the trailer, can't bet them all. They race down the backside, and ribbons and medals, Pablo Morales out there, a four-to-one shot, is clear on the lead by two. In second, Jojo Hans outside, extra sexy Big Daddy's on the move. Then comes Declared in Digital Footprint, and a long ways yet to the trailer, can't bet them all. Half mile, 48 and two-fifth seconds, and ribbons and medals continues to show the way. Half length better than Jojo. Jojo Hans, extra sexy Big Daddy's third to the outside. Declared down on the inside, getting a good ground-saving trip. Then another two lengths back to Digital Footprint, and then still four and a half more to Can't Bet them all. It's Ribbons and Medals holding a short lead. Jojo Hans is right there on the outside. Declared looks for racing room. He'll swing three wide to the top of the stretch. Then comes Extra Sexy Big Daddy on the far outside. Can't bet them all now. Rolling on the outside and trying to get to the leader. Short lead now for Declared on the far outside. Can't bet them all. Is closing quickly. Dropping back inside. Ribbons and Medals. And then Jojo Hans. But Declared is the victor here. Can't bet them all. Settles for a second. In third was Digital Footprint, followed by Jojo Hans in fourth. Winning time, 141 flat. And they're off in the eighth and final on 4th of July. Breaking for the lead on the far outside. Looking to rush up is Fast Axton. He's joined down along the inside and moving through. There goes Super Boomer to take the lead. Also with them on the rail is CC's Kitten. And also right behind the pack is going to be Fast Axton down in fourth. Three more back to Doristo. And then up on the outside, Jingle Bells followed by Legio. And the early trailer is the late closer, No Drama. Right now, Super Boomer, Angel Stanley, the one to catch, has the lead by two lengths. Outside second is Fast Axton, then CC. He's kitten third along the inside. Racing in fourth is Kai Ang. And then we drop back on the two lengths to Doristo, Legio, and No Drama. Right now, Super Boomer continues to be the one to catch. Down on the inside, CC's Kitten is right there. And then down the center of the track, Fast Axton still with a chance. On the far outside, coming late, Jingle Bells and no drama there on the far outside. It's Super Boomer with a short lead. On the far outside, closing sharply, no drama. Adil Ayala takes the lead and pulls away from the pack. The battle for second, hanging on CC's Kitten. And then a photo finish for the showdo between Leg. Doristo and Jingle Bells, but no doubt about the winner, no drama in a time of 111 and 2.